Welcome to the memory game. This is a great lesson because it uses what you probably already have at home. It's very easy to put together. And it's something that many children can play together. In fact, in the lesson that you will see, we used a brother and sister combination. Prakash is the older brother, and he helped his little sister with this work. It also incorporates movement. It incorporates gross motor skills. And Priyanka, who is one that is used to having to move around a lot and has lots of energy, this was a perfect lesson for her. What you will learn, or what your child will learn in this lesson, is remembering the numeral and then having to remember that numeral, if they pick out a five, they have to remember that as they walk across the room or wherever they choose to hide the beads. They have to remember the numeral long enough to get that many beads to bring back to the rug. So it's really very easy, very fun, something many kids can play together. And at the end of the lesson that Prakash and Priyanka will show you, we will give you many different variations that you can use with your children as they're learning. It involves co different colors, bigger numbers, and so on. Enjoy the lesson. Hi, Priyanka. Do you want to play? Sure. Can you go put it over there? Or can you get go go get four beads? Good job, Priyanka. You want to play again? Five. Can I get five beads, please? <laughs> play one more time. Good job. And pick this. Okay, and get two. Good job, Franco. Good game. Can you go get the beads? So here is what you will need for the memory game. All you will need for this lesson is a tray to hold everything on, a basket for your child to use to go retrieve the beads, a bowl filled with the counters, whatever objects you're going to use, and a box. We've used a box with a lid on it just to give it a little bit more sense of mystery. Inside the box are pieces of paper with numbers on them. Another variation you can do when you have many kids is kind of make it a game. So for instance, Priyanka wouldn't let everyone else see what number she had. So she would pick out the number five. She would keep it a secret and she would hide it under the rug. So the kids at the rug don't know what number she's getting. She goes and gets the quantity in her basket. She lays out the five beads in this case. And the children at the rug then have to physically count the beads. So they're learning the concept of counting and numerals in order. And then they'll say five. 
and she'll pull out the five and show everybody. It's another really interesting way to make this numeral really, really hit home with the child because they've counted the beads and now they get to see their correct answer. And if they don't get it right, that's okay. They can just recount it and redo it again. Another fun variation is you can do color. So here we've got some poker chips, but you can use whatever you want in any color you want. But another fun way to do this, to incorporate color, is when they pick out a number, it might be four, and then you can make a red dot. Or you can tell your child, you picked the number four. Will you go get four blue chips? or four blue marbles. So now it's incorporating and it's making it a little bit more advanced once they're pretty comfortable with the numbers. This is a great lesson. And it's a lesson that's really easy to do. It incorporates fine motor, gross motor, and number recognition. Have fun.